Good morning everybody, Tolween here, and after a while I finally got around to figuring out what the new uh, Thumbcraft 4.1 research and 4.2, because he's updated it again recently. Um, after some tinkering around with it, it's actually fairly simple. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, first thing I want to do is note that the um, thermometer recipe has changed and it's just any shards now so yeah, pretty pretty damn simple you just need two of them which will make things a lot easier what is a balanced shard huh. weird wonder how you make that but anyway on to the research so I went ahead and did my the uh, the the bookcases all the way around it thing again and it does in fact still work and it still it will slowly regenerate all of your stuff so I went ahead and went through and got a whole bunch of uh, uh, aspects and the way that you do research or get the research now has changed a little bit so this is the research table now and you see something blinking like that you can research it if you see something that's kind of uh, uh, hexed, hexed off like that I think it's hexed I don't remember hexed off like this you can just go ahead and click it and get all the research for it, the get the research for it done automatically I know I've got one in here somewhere. I was just looking through it. Yeah, here's here here's the one. So need um vacuous magic and tool. Which I don't have any tool, let's so go ahead and make some tool real quick. So I need And I'll explain that one in a little bit. So yeah, there you go. Research complete. So yeah, anything that has this little thing around it, you can get. Um, so the wand foci you can do it with, or some of the wand, the, the minor wand foci you can do it with. The equal trade and the excavation, you actually have to research for them. Um, when you're using your th uh, thermometer. Uh, you, when you research certain things, you can chance of stuff unlocking in the um, Thomonomicon. So yeah, there's some stuff that you can research that will uh, unlock a recipe in your Thomonomicon. Hey look, no. That was not it. And when you research, you get the little animation of it floating up top. No, nope, that's not it either. So yeah, you guys know how to research. If not, then why the hell are you playing? Just joking. Or am I? Yeah, it looks like I've gotten most everything that's around here. Oh, there it is. Ignore that. That's just something I was goofing around with. Nope, let's stay daytime. Okay, so on to the research. So, when you're in your Thomonomicon, you can go ahead and click on anything that's blinking and get the research notes for it. So, uh, node preservation, master node tapping. I just got the research for, which I didn't intend to do. Now I know I go into detail about the research expertise and the research mastery. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that again because a lot has changed in them. Um, more efficient performing research. 
whenever you remove an aspect that has been placed in a hex, there's a 25% chance you'll re regain a research point. You're also able to com uh, see what aspects can com com you need to combine to create aspects you're hovering over. So, in this table here, they can see that um, f Fire and Burdito get combined to create Jellum. And this is extremely helpful to, instead of having to actually go in and look through this to figure out what makes what. It's all conveniently placed here for you. Now the second one, the Research Mastery, increases the uh, regain chance to 50 and a 10% chance to whenever you when, when you place an aspect it won't cost anything now this one is really helpful um, you can combine aspects in the research table by shift clicking on the aspect you wish to create um, if you have enough of the component aspects they will automatically combine to create to the click the clicked aspect so since I need more death, I've only got one, I can shift click and I'll make those automatically. Very, very handy. Clear that and the research. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, alumentum. So this is the new research table. It looks kind of confusing but it's actually pretty simple um, nothing can combine with fire so basically what you want to do is you want to take a look at the potentia so potentia the way that you have to do this I'll try to explain it as best as I can um, you need one of the two aspects that go into making potentia to connect to this this potentia here so since potentia is the ordo and fire you can put e one of the two here and you can see that they le they become linked together so what you want to do is you can go fire Potentia, and this is going to have to go a little funky because it's, uh, it's a little bit of a short space. Fire again, and Potentia again. So yeah, this is a expensive way of doing it. I'm pretty sure you can look at something and you can probably figure out, okay, I can do like Potentia to Fire to Lux and then connect that back to fire so you can chain a couple of them together but since I know potentia is made with fire I just went ahead and used fire to chain it together now I want to get out of back to my Thomanomicon alchemy and yeah, alument, alumentum. And now that will show that you can create the uh, Essentia distillation. So let's go ahead and make another one. Let's go ahead and do the metal, magical metallurgy. Oh, that's, that's what it was. So whenever you find a research, ga uh, research gain by scanning stuff with your um, thermometer, you'll get this little tinted background here so the metallurgy um, is actually discovered by researching certain number of things or certain object um, let's see I think I've got another one in here somewhere yeah um, 
the focus of the nine hells or whatever it's called, that one's gained by research. The metallurgy. Oh, nice. Infernal Furnace. wonder where I got that one from. Oh, I might have gotten it from the Alumentum. In Tiny Spectacles, I that looked, I think you could get that from there, and it's also one of those that you just click on. Ah, oh, fucking nose, damn it. Okay, so for the Metallurgy, it's, uh... Uh, Metallum and Precantatio. So we get uh, Vacuous and Potentia, and then Terra and Vitreous. So I know, uh, let's see, Potentia, order. So it looks like ultimately we can connect it with Ordo. So, Potentia, Vitreous, and Ordo. Ah, perfect straight line. Done. Easy. Let's see. Now this should open up an additional... Nope, not yet. So eventually, you'll end up getting... Um, from what I've heard, once you get the iron transmutation, which is end exchange order, that's easy enough. again, not the best way to do it. Or it could be the best way to do it. Who fucking knows? Ah, yes. There we go. Gold transmutation. You can just go ahead and click and get the research for that automatically. Do, 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 do. So let's go ahead and get something that's a little more difficult. Like that one. Okay, so yeah, this one's got four. I'm not sure why that one is pulsating like that. Why are you pulsating? I don't know. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so we have got that one and that one. So, let's go ahead and drop an order there. That's inconvenient. Whatever, it works, right? So we've got magic. Perdito. Now let's see. We need for that guy. Where is it? So this one could go magic. Vacuous. That's not vacuous. Vacuous there. That's not vacuous. Will you stop that? Oh, probably because I don't have any of it. Alright, so vacuous there, vacuous there, and let's just go ahead and perdito. So, yeah, it's, it's fairly simple. You just gotta remember it's off the base one, so this is the base, that's the base, the base, and then the base. It's what is combined to make that one 
to make a leg. From that one, it could be what's combined to make it, or what can you make combining with it. So, like, this leg, I can go uh, the permutatio, the ordo, and I can make the permutatio with ordo so that I can link it that way. So that's how you can do do it this way when you only when it's a second tier or a first tier non-primal. So since it uses the primals to make it, and that's when you can combine them making of the legs like that. So I'll go ahead and get that, and I want to go back to daytime because I don't feel like getting attacked. And for some strange odd reason, if you are in creative mode and you do research, it won't unlock things, so I'm kind of restricted. What? Seriously, what is the blinking thing? Nope, that's not what I want. Ooh. Okay, so the, 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 the heart beating and the pulsating around the edge of the screen, that is actually warp. So if you look at some of the aspects or some of the research, you get this little aura thing around it. That is actually... Uh, a warp effect. So forbidden, mar forbidden knowledge, mostly harmless. Um, those are way off that there. Let's see. Um, I don't know, but this is probably pretty harmful considering it's considering the state of the uh, wand focus. Nope, I don't want that. Let's see. Um, Bucket of Death, I think it's called. It will probably get some effects from it. Um, Infernal, fur Infernal Furnace is minor. Um, there's some items like the Flesh Golem that when you use it, when you make it, you'll gain some. All right. So I think you guys should understand pretty pretty easily how to how to do it. Um, like always, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty good and pretty quick about making uh, about replying. So if you guys have any questions, please go ahead and ask down in the comments or send me a private message. Um, and I will. I will do my best to help you with it. If it's a little harder to explain, I'll just go ahead and make a video for you. But hopefully this helps with anybody that's been using the Thomecraft 4.1 or 4.2. I know Feed the Beast hasn't updated to, um, to 1.7 yet, which this was made for. But hopefully they can get their asses in gear. I'm. Uh, I know 1.8 is coming out here real soon. It's in pre-release status, so hopefully they can get that taken care of. But uh, this is towing, and this is the uh, Thumbcraft 4.1 and 4.2 research tutorial. Thanks for watching, and guys have a good day.